My name is David Lance, and I'm the author of the book, Think Like Jesus, Lead Like Moses, Leadership Lessons from the Wilderness Crucible. A, a month or so into the time that the children of Israel were wandering in the desert, Moses brings them to a place called Midian, where his father-in-law Jethro was. Now, one of the things that Moses needed to do was to uh, uh, reunite with his wife and his children. And while he's there, uh, Jethro watches Moses as he judges the people of Israel from dawn to dusk, from the smallest issue to the, to the greatest issue. And after a while, Jethro takes his son-in-law Moses aside and says, The thing that you are doing is not good. You will surely wear out both yourself and these people who are with you. For the task is too heavy for you. You cannot do it alone. You see, he saw Moses judging these people 10, 12 hours a day and was wearing them out. And he advised Moses to delegate the responsibility of, of judging the, the people to uh, trusted advisors that he could train and show them how to do it. That way, Moses could spend more time on the big picture, talking to God and things of that nature. And these other folks would take some of the load off of his shoulders. And additionally, this would allow him to train up other leaders who would learn God's law. And a lot of things would uh, ben become a benefit as a consequence of this through that process of delegation. And the key uh, uh, importance of this is that the people would go to their place in peace, that the people would be successful. Jethro says to Moses in Exodus 18, verse 23, if you do this thing and God so commands, then you will be able to endure and all these people will go to their place in peace. And so it wasn't just for Moses' personal benefit, but for the benefit of his people that he delegate responsibilities and bring up other leaders uh, beneath him. Now, there's a movie that I really like called Armageddon. It's about this killer uh, meteorite that's about to strike the Earth. And NASA goes and get, gets Bruce Willis, who plays a guy by the name of Harry Stamper. Now, NASA has been training uh, some astronauts to prepare to, to take a couple of shuttles up to this meteor, land on the meteor, drill some boreholes, put a couple of nuclear bombs into the boreholes, blow up the meteor, meteor and save the Earth. But they realize that their astronauts, while they're good at doing astronaut stuff, are not very good at doing drilling stuff. And Harry Stamper, played by Bruce Willis, runs a, a crack team of, of oil uh, drillers who work out on an oil rig out in the ocean. And so NASA finally realizes that they've got to delegate responsibility and bring Harry Stamper and his guys along. Well, these guys are ex-cons, they, they're, they're former drug, ad, drug addicts, all sorts of problems. They're not real astronaut material. Uh, and yet, uh, it all works out because NASA is willing to delegate responsibility to get the job done for the success of the human race. My father, uh, Dr. Tom Lance, was an optometrist, and um, he uh, worked to, to find a couple of young men that he could tutor and, and mentor as he trained them up to take on the role of being uh, uh, junior partners in his practice, and then when he retired, to, to transition the practice into their hands. And so uh, my dad was the kind of person who invested himself in the right individuals to take over the practice, and he died back in 1997, And uh, but that practice practice still continues today under the, the, the watchful eyes of the men that he uh, tutored and nurtured. And so, um, just like my father, uh, Moses, and other people in life, it's important to learn the, the principle of delegating and sharing authority so that others come into the limelight so that the people could go to their place in peace. And so, principle number five of being a godly leader is, I believe, the willingness to share authority through delegation in order to ensure the success of the people that you lead. Well, thanks so much for listening today, and God bless.